very good, Sarge, and your, and your team. You know, we are going to be depending on you for the support in this area. One resident said to me that she is afraid. The other resident, who is the mother of the young lady who died, she was very effusive in her compliments to the police. Um, ACP, she, she, she mentioned that there were regular patrols in place even before the incident occurred. But it is, it is clear that the gangsters obviously studied your rhythm and figured out where there was an opportunity and, and they, they took it. So um, I'm certain that from an operational perspective, all of that will be dealt with, but the residents do need your reassurance. Uh, right now, they need to see you as their protectors. Uh, in the past, you know, we, we have allowed this business of gangs to be seen as the protectors of communities. And that must be totally destroyed. It is the police and the state that must protect every citizen, not criminals. Uh, and I think this is a, a perfect opportunity for citizens to feel that the state can protect them. Uh, so in your actions, in your posture, uh, and uh, uh, in the strategic deployments, you, you must bear in mind that it is important to give the assurance to the citizens that you are here to protect them. And it is the building of that bond between security forces and the citizens that any space that existed that separated or differentiated the state and its citizens, which left that gap for criminals to exploit, I think we must take this opportunity now to close that space and ensure that the citizen and the police are at one and there is no space for criminals. Very important because I'm certain that as I'm standing here going through the community talking to people, there are people who I'm not seeing, who are not hearing this message, but who are thinking about retaliation. And uh, if we allow that to happen, the citizens taking retaliation, then we end up in a spiral. So we must prevent retaliation, right? So even the people who are victims, we, we, we have to engage them, we have to give them support, and we have to dissuade them from this idea of retaliation on their own. It is the police that should have the monopoly on the use of force and use that force judiciously. So it's more than the regular policing operations. We're going to approach it from a multifaceted way in which we will deal with the victims, we'll give the victims support, we will use intelligence, as you know, to determine what are the next steps that we will take and who we should target. But we will also be dealing with the community policing and community relations. So you are an important part of all elements of the strategy, particularly in the reassurance, the residents feel that they are safe. And secondly, the residents feel that the police will take action to get at the criminals to reduce the threat of reprisals. So we are depending on you.